The House of Representatives grilled senior officials of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC, the COVID-19 Presidential Task Force, domiciled at the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, over the utilization of emergency relief funds released for the management of the coronavirus pandemic in the country. The House Committee on Public Account, while also threatening to issue a bench warrant for the arrest of the Accountant General of the Federation for failing to appear before the committee and give an update on funds being managed by his office, says all agencies involved in the utilization of the coronavirus relief funds must answer to the Nigerian public. Chairman of the House Committee, Oluwale Oke, expressed dismay at the non-clarification of several issues which have been in the public space, especially relating to the airlifting of Nigerians back to the country. Actual estimates of donations by private individuals and corporate organizations, as well as expected payments to agencies and media organizations. So far, the federal government of Nigeria has released two tranches of funds to NCDC. One was a preparedness release before the outbreak hit Nigeria of 620, 000, 620 million naira. In addition, this is also public knowledge, 5 billion naira was released to NCDC to enable response activities. Um, so far, in total, specifically for the COVID response, therefore, we have received 5 billion, 620 million naira from the federal government of Nigeria. In front of you is a table detailing uh, the, um, the funds received and the areas in which it has been spent. Number one, we've spent 380 million plus on the procurement of medical and laboratory supplies. We've spent 258 million in the deployment of rapid response teams across the country. 192 million in the emergency procurement of medical equipment. 142 million in the engagement of ad hoc staff. 101 million uh, on surveillance and response activities. 41 million in various uh, repairs, reconstruction work. Uh, 34 million on training. 22 million on supporting the supply chain. 6 million in risk communications. And out of that, a total of 41 million was paid in tax for the various aspects where tax is necessary. So that gives us a total of 1 billion, 221 million. 494, 995 naira spent all together mm -hmm. in the response. Mm -hmm. The federal government has at date released 22,163,000,000 million million naira to the PTF mm -hmm. operations account. Mm -hmm. To the PTF operations account. <clears throat> Out of this, what has been utilized, because we, we, we are bound by a procurement act, and we are bound to be transparent and accountable on it, the procurement process has commenced. The, the funds belong to different agencies for utilization, but for the PTF to ensure that there is value for money and there is delivery of service. At the moment, I can tell you that only 164 million has been spent by foreign affairs. We are still waiting for the different MDAs to do their activity plans, their work plans, they need to submit a procurement plan to us, and then they go ahead to do the procurement, which is why out of the 22 billion that has been released for the purpose of COVID, only 164 has been spent million. But, but is that not affecting impairing in, in activities? No. So, Chairman, yes. the important thing is to be able to provide accountability no, while making no, sure no, our sir, operations sir, work. Sir, hmm? we didn't just give you the 22 billion. The Absolutely. Excuse me, sir. The 22 billion was for a purpose. 
it so, is for the purpose. So if, if, for example, and we're in an emergency period, so if the emergency period elapsed and we are back to, like we are beginning to unlock that now, so what, what do you need the 22 billion euro for again? So there are activities, like the media, for instance, that they haven't built us, that we haven't be, be, been built. This is a warning to the Agatha General of the Nation. It should desist. It should stop undermining the Constitution. The best thing Mr. President can do for me is to give him an appointment as chief of the federation. He should not disrespect the parliament any longer. He should not, he should stop raping the control of the constitution. He should cause appearance with you here unfailingly on the 15th of June. Otherwise, we will do the need for you. Mr. Chairman. We will go to the Constitution and issue one of our arrests.